everyone, it's Justine. Welcome to a new video for the 12 Days of Christmas series. Today I wanted to talk about gift cards and how we can make some creative gift card holders. I'm going to be checking out these two new dies from My Favorite Things. One is the gift card pocket die, which can be really used all the time. And then the MFT also came out with Snowman Christmas Crew Dynamics. There's also an elf available, a Santa Claus, and other designs. But I decided to go with the snowman for today's card. So I'm going to go ahead and detach all the dies using some wire cutters. And then I have them all placed here ready for die cutting. Some red, black, orange, and white cardstock. Super simple. You can pause the video at any time too to see how I did that and where I laid each of the pieces. Now the die cut box it couldn't really be any simpler. It comes with some fold lines so you just need to fold those two pieces in and then use some double sided paper to glue it down. So it just glues down simply like this. Super easy to create and I think that's really great around the holidays when we might be stretched for time a little bit. I'm using some quarter inch double sided adhesive from scrapbook.com. I almost recommend the eighth inch just because quarter inch is exactly the same size as the flap. So unless you're really, really precise, you might end up getting some sticky areas when you try to slip in your gift card later. So one eighth is probably better, but because as you know, I moved and I don't have everything anymore, quarter inch is all I had. So then just take off the double sided adhesive, fold it back, and then we're going to put together the snowman, which is super fun. So in order to put together the snowman, just flip over the gift card itself if you're going to use the front of the, or the longer area of the panel. And you're just going to put together the pieces of the snowman itself. And what's really nice is it comes with a lot of scored lines so you know where to put the pieces. So there's two scored lines on the black hat showing you exactly where this band needs to go. And you can cut these out in whatever colors you like. I just decided to go with a very traditional white, black, and red just to keep things easy. Then it has also some perforated lines on this band here. So the band that goes around his neck for his bow tie and it shows you exactly where the bow tie needs to go. So this really couldn't be more straightforward on how to put it together. Although I do recommend going on the website and just taking a look at the image on the MFT website just to kind of give you an idea so there's no frustration. This die doesn't come with an image so it's important to be able to see what each piece is actually for. And the bow tie, it might not be clear that three pieces are necessary, but I think it creates a little bit of texture and it's a lot of fun rather than having just the bow tie itself, but it cuts out the middle little, um, you know, the knot of the bow tie separately as well. So in the beginning, I wasn't quite sure which side do I glue this on, but it is the long side. And so I'm going to glue the brim of the hat and place that up top. I want to make sure obviously that no white is poking up outside of the hat. That would look a little bit funny. And then I can go ahead and add the rest of the accessories. So going in now and adding in the little bow tie and then his eyes and the buttons of coal and all of that and the carrot nose obviously as well. You want to keep that orange and it's just such a cute little gift card holder. I absolutely love it. And this works to, you know, if you want to throw it in a gift bag or throw it in an envelope by itself or add it inside an envelope, it's just something a little extra that you can have. So it's completely up to you how you want to add this to your gift. But the gift card obviously just slips straight into the back super easily. I used some tweezers to help get these small little eyes and buttons to cut out properly just because it was easier to use those to glue down. So there's the final image of the snowman himself and how cute it looks when it's all finished. The second die that I think is really handy is this one from Lawn Fawn. This is the diagonal gift card pocket. And what I like about this one is that this can be added to any card on the inside. So I actually went ahead and grabbed one of the cards that I created previously in the series to use as my example. So you're just going to cut apart all of these dies with some wire cutters, first of all, and then you can get started. So once again, you just need to die cut them. I'm taking a look at this Falala card. I'll link to it up above and in the video description below if you're interested in checking out that video tutorial. It's such a pretty card. I'm going to add a gift card pocket to the bottom. So I decided to cut out the pieces, the main part of the gift card holder in white, and then the it also comes with an area, like a patterned paper part that you could use to decorate it. So you can keep your gift card pocket plain and one solid color, or you can add something on top. And that's something is on the right there and I added some 
gold cardstock I cut that out of. And you'll see when it flips over that it's actually gold. Once again, adding quarter inch tape to this. This absolutely works with quarter inch tape. The panels are a little bit wider than the ones from the My Favorite Things one. So again, quarter inch or eighth inch will work no problem. Take them all off and then you can place them on the inside of your card. You can place it in any of like in this corner I think works best and then add on the patterned paper over top and it has this little border. I think it looks really elegant and fun and then you can go ahead and slip any sort of gift card on the inside. So this can coordinate or make your card into a gift card, interactive card, so to say, anytime as well as that snowman one, something a little extra. So I hope you enjoyed those two gift ideas, gift card ideas for the holiday season. Let me know in the description below if you tend to buy gifts or gift cards these days or what you do for Christmas presents. Thanks so much for watching. It's a short one today and I'll be back soon with the series. Bye for now.